These vultures are super hungry today. I picked them up a couple pounds of meat, red meat and uh, chicken, and uh, they came and got up on the porch when I got home. And I know Marty fed them this morning, but you know, I'm learning a lot messing with these vultures. Uh, they have two big giant chicks to feed in themselves. And you know, it's slim pickings with a lot of other vultures around when something gets hit on the side of the road. And they let you know when they're super hungry like now. That's their second helping of short ribs and their second piece of a quarter chicken. Not counting what they got this morning. And it was interesting, you know, the different ways they eat. Uh, with the chicken, sometimes it seems like they're interested in the fat. They got babies and you want something to last and they need some calories. And you'll see they'll go for the fat and leave some of the meat. Well, today, on the red meat, see she's going for the chicken now. I went over there in the first two short ribs that I gave them and all the fat was laying there. They'd only taken the meat, red meat part. And now I can see right now the other one, I think that's the male. See how he's a little smaller? He's eating the fat. Uh, it's just uh, been so f interesting watching these and what they do. And uh, I also learned lately that they are they are giving solid food. They'll eat it and, and regurgitate it and put it in the fireplace. And the babies come out and eat it. You'll notice on some of those videos where they run over. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes they will uh, stick their bill down in their throat just like when they were young babies. So it's a combination between food that's digested and food that hasn't. Uh, it's, it's, it's really interesting. But this is probably one of the uh, more obvious days when they were just really looking for food big time. Which is, I don't know how much this has to do with it, but those chicks are huge, so she knows going to feed the babies. Going to feed the babies. See, now that food can't be digested yet. She will regurgitate it solid and dump it off in the uh, fireplace. Watch her jump up into the door. I mean, I don't want to make up what I think's happening, but. And I don't know that wildlife suffers from these problems, but how they've evolved is they know these babies need food and they're super aggressive to get it. I don't know if that causes stress in an animal or not, but they were very hell-bent today on me giving them more food to eat. And sure enough, she came back and that was the second trip there. to uh, provide some food for those babies. See that opposing digit with the nail on the end of it in the back? That allows them to uh, stand for hours with a heavy wind on a tree branch. That's dad. I'm also kind of surprised the amount of water they drink that I give them. You know, Dad's going to feed too. 